Hi guys. <clears throat> um, sorry, I just took my hair down after being a bun all day. It looks kind of crazy. Um, okay, so this is Maggie, obviously. You should know that if you're watching this. Um, let's go to the numbers. Last week, I was, well, I started this journey at 266 was my highest. I was 247 the day of surgery. I was 227 last week, so I lost 20 pounds last week um, since surgery. And I am 222.9 this week for a total loss this week of 4.1 pounds. I'm super excited. Um, I think going to the trainer is helping, and I think being back in school is helping. I feel like, um, my routine is, you know, I think it's better when I'm in school. Um, and, you know, when you don't have time to just eat whatever. Um, so I'm on my way to the gym right now. Well, not right this second, but I'm about to leave after I make the video. Um, on Monday, I, okay, because I started with a trainer last week. Well, technically I started Monday, but like he did my evaluation, which I talked about in my last video on Wednesday. Well, he weighed me on Monday, this Monday, and I was complaining to my mom. I was like, you better not weigh me. I'm on my period and I'm probably going to, you know, weigh more and it hasn't been a whole week yet. And I was just like, Whoa, just complaining. And so he weighed me and I had lost three pounds after like five only five days not a whole week since um he had weighed me the first time so he was really happy and i was really happy because i haven't seen a good number in a while so four pounds i'm ecstatic um i'm gonna put a picture of my 222.9 up here um yeah i'm really happy but i feel like the trainer's helping and being back on my schedule you know in school is helping um after I went to the trainer on Monday, so like that was already like, yay, I was really excited. But then I had to go to the scrub store and get new scrub bottoms because, you know, I can live with my shirts being big, but actually my mom's going to um, try, she's going to practice on one of my shirts tonight and try taking it in. But my pants were just ridiculously large. Like me and someone else could fit in those damn pants. So I went on Monday after the gym to try and like find the same color as the ones I have from school. And I found some on the clearance rack. And so I, they only had a large. So I was like, okay, well, I'll try it on. Because the ones I have are extra, extra large and they're too big. So then I found two... I found another pair and they had large and extra large and they were a lot nicer quality so I picked those up too and I took them all to the dressing room. So I had the two larges and one extra large. <laughs> so first I tried on the large that was on the clearance rack and they fit. And I texted one of my friends from school and I was like I am wearing large scrub pants right now. Like there's no X in front of it, just large. And that's crazy for me because never ever in my adult life have I worn a large top or bottom and now I have that sweatshirt that's a large which is insane to me and I well okay let me finish my story and I fit into those large size pants well then I tried the large of the better quality ones and they were like you must be kidding me right this is not gonna happen so I tried on the extra large and they fit but I ended up buying both the large and the extra large of the nice quality ones and leaving the large that I actually fit into of the not as great quality ones just because um, I know I'm going to need the large eventually and so I can wear the extra large right now and I can wear the large when I get to that point so yeah I was excited to fit into a size large, um, even though I got the extra large to actually wear. Um, I was just happy that, like, 
one of the largest fits, so I didn't really care. Um, and I got the largest too, so um, that's good because that will be nice in the future. Um, I got new scrub or I got new nursing shoes too, because mine like the seam split, and so I um, yeah, like they were like torn down the like where the sole is. I think it was because I washed them. And I don't think I should have done that. I don't know. Um, but I got nursing clogs. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I've been wanting clogs really bad. And now I finally got them. So I'm excited. Um, in other news, I'm not getting a new car. Which I'm okay with. Um, but I'm driving my mom's pathfinder which I don't have a problem with except it's a gas hog and I drive at least a hundred miles every day and so yeah that's kind of a lot of money um hmm. oh um on Monday we started clinicals for school so we're in another nursing home and I love it. Our last nursing home, like, I found people to love there. And I really, it was a good experience. But um, it was predominantly Korean speaking. So it was really hard because we couldn't interact with many of the patients. There was only a few that spoke English. So um, this one, you know, almost everyone speaks English. And they seem a lot more like with the program, they can help us a lot more. The patients at the last facility were just like ridiculous. They couldn't do anything for themselves and a lot of these patients can. It just makes it nice. Um, I really like our facility so far. And you know, I'm already finding like old people friends to talk to. Um, so yeah, I really like that. Um, and I love being at clinicals because it helps me get in more steps for the day because normally I'm at school and we're just sitting there all day and you know you just I can't get in as many steps so I'm taking my Fitbit to the gym I took it off when I changed clothes but um I need to remember to get it so I'm taking that to the gym with me and yeah, oh, I have a date Friday. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done. I just got them done, but like just to make sure, touch them up a little. And I'm gonna go get my bangs cut because I hate, I don't know, I feel like they're so long. Ugh. So I'm gonna get them cut. I want them shorter. They're killing me. Like, short okay that doesn't look right but anyway yeah um and I didn't do them this morning so they look like doubly bad oh well whatever and I'm trying to think of more stuff to tell you but I can't oh um food has been good this week protein has been way better um I've been drinking a protein shake on the way to school every morning um, and for Tuesday, for Tuesday and, I hope you can't hear that. Anyway, on Tuesday and Wednesday, um, I took chicken salad that my mom made and it was super yummy. Like, it's been really good and the water hasn't been the greatest. Um, I need to work on that, but it's hard when we're like, it's probably more important when we're running around um, a nursing, a skilled nursing facility all day, but it's hard to get it in because you're busy. Um, and then for dinner, one night I had, what did I have on Tuesday night? Or Monday night? Oh, I had chili from Wendy's. Tuesday night I had... Um, that was just last night. What did I eat for dinner? I don't think I ate anything, actually. I think I... Yeah, I kind of think I just came home, took cold medicine, and went to bed. And tonight I'm probably going to have chili. 
Um, my doctor, like, swears by Wendy's chili, which, I don't know, I guess. So, um, I bought it on Monday, and I ate it Monday night, and I'm going to eat it for dinner tonight. I could take it to my lunch, but, like, the chicken salad my mom made is really good, and so I've been taking that. And it's super cute that she made me that for my lunch. Um, yeah. Oh, and then... I was talking to Snowy White 79 Sonia, and I was telling her that I've been really tired lately. And she was asking me about my protein and my water, and um, you know, I told her that you know it's pretty good. But um, then she started asking me about vitamins, and I was I'm supposed to be on B12. My doctor didn't tell me that. I'm not on B12. Um, I'm supposed to be on calcium citrate. Um, my doctor didn't tell me that either. I'm not on calcium citrate. And there was something else I'm supposed to be on that I'm not. And so I'm just like, wow, good to know. Like, good thing she told me that because I had no idea. My doctor really didn't tell me. So um, I need to do that. I need to get on those because I've been feeling a little better, but... I was feeling super tired, like, all the time. And, yeah. I had something else to say along with that, and I can't remember what it was. Um, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, jeez. This video is getting really long, and I don't think I even really talked about anything. So, and actually for the gym. So, yeah. Have a good week, guys. Um, oh, there's one more thing I want to talk about. I'm sorry. Um, just a photo girl, Jenny, sent me a New Year's card. And I don't know when she sent it or when I actually received it. But I'm not home a lot. So um, I didn't get it till Monday. This Monday, which would have been the third, I think. So I just wanted to say thank you. It was amazing, and I need to write to you on Facebook and tell you that, but I hope you see this and know that I loved it, and it was just so sweet of you. And I haven't been able to get on Facebook and, like, write to you, so I'm sorry. But thank you, Jenny. Your card was much appreciated, and I totally loved it. And I still don't think I told so Sonia that... Um, I loved her Christmas card, which I know I'm a slacker, guys. But I just made a video, like, last week for three weeks. So, let me tell you, I've been slacking. Um, but, Sonia, I totally, totally loved your Christmas card. Your family is beautiful. So, okay, it's really going to be a long video. So, I will say bye, guys, and talk to you next week.